Welcome back. Today is Saturday, May the 18th, and today I'm going to do my week three video on um, National Vasculitis Awareness Month, which is in May, and um, the vasculitis that I have, which is a Wegener's granulatosis. It's also called GPA vasculitis. So um, this is going to be a three-part video series as I am going to talk about my treatment and the side effects of the treatment. And so I'm going to do one video on chemo, one video on prednisone, and the last video I'll be talking about all the medications that I'm now on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll get started. Welcome back. This is part two of week three and today I'm going to talk about prednisone. Now I have taken prednisone a lot in my life. I have really bad allergies. Um, poison ivy, it's awful. Uh, I have some food allergies, not very many, but I have a few. And I have um, just seasonal allergies, you know. So I've had to take a lot of prednisone in my life, which I usually take the, you know, I'll take the, get a prednisone shot, and then I will start like on a five or seven day prednisone pack, and then just taper down to zero. But, um, I also have asthma and that I have to take it sometimes for my asthma when it flares up really, really bad. But for me, the prednisone I'm on is also to suppress my immune system along with the chemotherapy that I talked about in the previous video. But when I started on prednisone, I started in the hospital at 60 milligrams of prednisone. And that is an insane amount of prednisone. I was on 60 milligrams for I think three or four weeks. I have tapered down, I'm down to 10 milligrams and it's taken almost six months to get down to that. The goal is eventually to be able to get me down to five milligrams, but we're not sure if I'll be able to tolerate it at five or off to stay at 10. So, you know, there's a lot of side effects. In a lot of ways, the prednisone is worse than the chemo for me. Some of the side effects I have, um, I don't sleep. I sleep in short bursts. I sleep a lot through the day. I'll, I'll take a nap in the morning. I'll take a nap in the afternoon. Um, I very seldom sleep more than four or five hours straight. But it seems to me like my magic number is between two and three in the morning, I'll wake up. Now, sometimes I'll go right back to sleep, but most of the time I'll lay awake for anywhere from an hour to two. If after two hours I'm still awake, I will go ahead and get up but it's been very hard and I take medicine to sleep now, which I'll talk about in my third video. The other side effect I've had is it has torn my stomach up. Prednisone is very hard on you. I have a second disease called gastroparesis and what gastroparesis is, and it's rare too, um, your stomach does not empty the contents like a normal person, like a normal person will eat and usually within an hour or two, the food will um, pass through their stomach to their small intestines and start the process of digestion. Well, mine doesn't. Mine might sit in my stomach for six, seven, eight, nine hours before it decides to go through. And so the reason we know that um, is I had, well, first thing I had to go to end of, I had to go to a gastro doctor and he, when he first saw me, he asked me what was going on because my oncologist sent me there because she said I should not be getting as sick as I am. And that's a big part of my throwing up and other issues is my stomach being torn up. And I told him that, you know, I was holding food down and I told him that he asked me when I last threw up and I remember I threw up at three in the morning. And he said, oh, he said, what did, do you know what you threw up? I said, I threw up my dinner. And I'm not trying to be gross or anything, but I'd had chicken pot pie my friend Janet had made us. And I taste, I could taste it. I mean, it was just like I'd ate it just a few minutes prior. So um, he said, oh, I think you've got gastroparesis. And he said, but we're gonna do some tests. So they did an endoscopy on me. So I scheduled an appointment for a week and a half later. He didn't want me to wait and my friend Pam took me because I couldn't drive because they do put you under. They give you propofol, which is the Michael Jackson drug. They gave it to me. I remember watching her putting in the IV. And then the next thing I remember is they're waking me up. And um, it makes you all loopy. Like that night I had drunk a bunco. I couldn't, um, I rode with my friend. I couldn't even get in her truck. She had to help me because I could not get my leg. 
I got my right leg to lift. I couldn't get my left leg to lift. It didn't matter how much I told it to. I, I just wouldn't do it. And so that was kind of embarrassing. But anyways, um, he did diagnose me with gastroparesis and he started me on a medication for that, which I'll talk about in my next video. I also have erosion in the lower third of my esophagus and I have a hiatal hernia. And unfortunately, all of this was caused from the prednisone. It is a necessary evil though. Another thing it's done is really, it's damaged my heart. When I was in the hospital, they did an EKG on me and then they did an um, echocardiogram and they found something wrong. And I knew I had a heart murmur I was born with. And, I, and of course I'm panicking in the hospital thinking, oh great, I'm gonna have a heart attack and then I'm really gonna die. But um, it turns out I have what is called a bundle branch blockage. I was born with it. There's really nothing they can do about it. It's not life threatening or anything. So um, that's, they wanted me to follow up with my doctor or cardiologist. So I got a cardiologist and I went and after I told him what was wrong with me and I you know, told him all the medications I was on, he said, I'm gonna pray for you, which really touched my heart, no pun intended, as you know, I never had a doctor offer to pray for me before. And so that was really nice. So he um, saw me again, and I think it was three or four weeks later, and I had another echocardiogram. Um, I had fluid around my heart. I had, I have an enlarged heart, and I have a rapid heart rate when I rest. And so he did start me on a short-term of Lasix before I went back to him, and that took care of the fluid around my heart, but he did think I had congestive heart failure. Thankfully, I didn't, um, but he, you know, I thanked him when I came back for praying for me and let him know I was in remission and, you know, the things that had changed, and he said, that's wonderful. He said, I want you to know you've done nothing, absolutely nothing to cause any of this, and that was a relief. I knew I hadn't, but to hear it from a doctor that, you know, I, you know, not exercising a lot or not eating or eating too much or eating bad things have not caused any of this. There's nothing I could do to prevent having this. But he did tell me the prednisone caused my heart issues. But thankfully, I don't have to go back for six more months. So he put me on some medications, which I'll talk about later. And um, I am now, you know, doing much better with my heart. Then um, another thing it does, it does cause weight gain. Now, thankfully, I've only gained 10 pounds back. Um, I, you know, I'll lose a little, gain a little, lose a little, because I, you know, get weight every time I go to chemo, so I know what I weigh. But, um, you know, that's been, it's okay. I mean, I don't mind. I still don't have a great appetite um, most of the time, so. And when I do eat, I don't usually eat a whole lot. But um, that's been a side effect. And so, you know, for some people, a lot of weight gain happens. Thankfully, not for me so far. And then... Another thing that it does is it causes the moon face. I call it pumpkin face. My face is not this fat normally, but um, when I first got out of the hospital, I mean, I had a round, round, round face. Now I still have a round face, but it's definitely, you know, you can see my cheekbones now. It's definitely getting better, but I will probably always have it because I will always be on prednisone. And so, you know, it's a necessary evil. I don't like it, but you know, it beats the alternative for me. And the last thing that it has done is changed my attitude. Usually when I'm on prednisone short term, it makes me extremely aggressive and grumpy and I don't even like myself. Now it has made me a little more um, weepy and not so much now that I'm on a lower dosage, but, and I still have my moments where I get maybe a little bit crabby, but not too bad, but it's definitely changed my um, personality. So I have to really be conscious of my behavior. But again, I can't help it. I get kind of get the roid rage on occasion. But again, beats the alternative. So that's about it about prednisone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Feel free to share this videos with anybody you know that may have an autoimmune disease or a, an invisible illness to let them know that there is hope. Um, you know, it's not ideal, but I'll take it over being dead. So I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day, and I will see you next time.